Okay, guys, for today's video, nothing too crazy early on. I do a couple mistakes. I still win my lane. Uh, I explain the fundamentals so you can, of course, learn from that. But something that made me decide to take that game and post it, regardless of how unperfect it was, is just the fact that there's one way you're going to win a lot of games as Trindamir, or at least you're supposed to, and it's backdooring. Often, when you have comps where it's very hard to teamfight into, and it's going to happen very, very often, especially especially like with the current state of, of Trindamir, your best play is going to be just look straight at the Nexus. And if done bad, you're just straight up going to lose the game for your team because you're not going to manage to do it. They're going to defend on you, but your team is not in a position to take anything else, etc. Or you're going to go for the wrong timer, not be patient enough be too patient sometimes so that was my first game one through backdooring and i will let you see what i look at how i manage vision what they care for in order to win the game hope you enjoyed the video much love <laughs> Okay guys, we're on game 5 of the Unranked to Master series. I realized that I don't have enough time to talk about everything uh, if I start the recording during the game. So we're gonna start in champ select. Check runes. Okay, nice try. Yeah, I remember doing my, my journey trying different things to bring my team to more victory. I tried uh, what it's called. I tried like saying hi guys, hello, let's have a good one. I tried uh, positive reinforcement. I tried many things. Like the only thing that consistently works is playing good League of Legends and being focused and putting intention in it. Um, anyway, so we're going to look at the loading screen and do step one, which is the thinking. We're in high gold, low plat. Uh, so Zig Senna, that's a lot of scanning. Zig's also like his mission is to get every single plate in the game. So uh, we need to keep that in mind. And if he doesn't want to go for uh, rotations, we need to call him the rotations. Uh, so he takes the plates basically uh, and they have smolder blitz which is also high high scaling but the thing is well smolder doesn't have like like blitz is not the pick you want with smolder you want blitz with i don't, I don't know like like samira like any aggressive kalista any aggressive adc that has some early game pressure don't really want it to smolder i think so that's good for us because well, we're gonna have a lot of range, a lot of scaling with Senna as well to match, uh, to match Smolder, and maybe he's not as scary as he's supposed to be. I see that they have really good scaling on Brand as well, and oh, oh yeah, guys, 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 guys. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, at least we get uh, Zex, what is called Zex passive. Um. Oh, well, that's two kills on Yoni. Wait, I'm a ghost to lane here. Because otherwise I will lose golden experience and I don't want that. Okay, so it's actually... Okay, let's let's mute everyone. It's actually you in the mid. So at least I don't have to face the two kills guy. And Zack has no passive, which is really good for me. Uh, yeah, you into Silas is going to be tough and even tougher with the two kills. So good luck to my Silas. Wait, well he had to start Q and he used it on the wave. So... I'm gonna take a big trade here. I got a bit creep blocked, blocking that last auto. I still have lethal tempo up and I have my Q coming back, so I will use it to pressure. And now what I'm thinking is I actually want to dive the guy. I'm gonna pop my pot to have a bit more HP. He's not gonna have level 2 already. He has Q though, so I might let him Q me. Oh, now he has E though. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Like he could just E me after I hit one auto and then it could look really bad. Um, maybe I should have like went straight for it when he still only had Q. 
I don't know. Now I was really, really low in HP. So I'm just going to take my base, buy something. In that case, boots, because I just have the gold for it. And also it's going to make me come back faster. And maybe be able to... Yeah, he's on blue buff. Uh, maybe be able to punish him on the bounce back. He got a lot of HP back though. I'm gonna dash in here in order to... I was gonna guess, say get level 4, but it's actually level 3. Not sure it's gonna die here. Okay, it's gonna be a tough one. Good. Good for us. If we have a tough one. So. Let's see. Um, the wave is now pushing, pushing back to Zack. So he has a good timer to base. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to punish his base. Yeah, like he should have just respected the fact that he, see me, he sees me going in the bush. He didn't, so we actually get a kill from that. My goal was not to kill him, it was just like to cancel his base. So, well, I just like, he has a plan, he wants to do something. I just like prevent him from doing that. And it makes him lose a bit more gold experience. Uh, but he ended up not respecting my cancel, so he dies for it. So now my idea is that I'm going to have plenty of gold. I'm going for a slow push myself because I want to have a lot of time. So I didn't crash the wave instant because I think he still had TP. I don't think he TP'd too late after the, the invade. So now my idea is that I want to spend my gold and I want to make sure that I crash the wave myself. And that I can go for a reset. Now, I'm not going to do his mistake. His mistake was resetting pretty close to me. Now, I'm going to reset pretty far. Okay, I don't think I want uh, tier 2 boots completed or I need it. I just like to be faster than my opponent. And with tier 1 boots, I'm already faster. Now, what I need is like kind of damage. So, I can actually put the damage to him, you know. Um, they managed to put 2-0 Yone in 2 and 2. Mistake that Yone did is like not back after getting 2 kills. He has TP uh, as well. Like he should have instant back TP'd and spent gold. Uh, we can look to kill Zack here. Because now the wave, just because I crashed it and I based instant, I didn't let him the chance to cancel my B. I don't like this. Well, I have a wave pushing to me and I can threaten to freeze it. That's what I'm doing right now. So I saw that, yeah, Yone and Brent were on grubs. I see Yone on the map now, but I still don't see Brent. Plus I'm level five to level six. So I'm not gonna go crazy until I feel confident that Brent is not here. And I feel like if Brent had to come, he would have came already. That's what she said. Okay. I press Q first because I, I needed more time to be able to kill the... The thing is... Yeah, I think I can base here. Ah, it's gonna crash though. Even if it's a cannon wave, I think I'm gonna lose a lot. Okay, I need to be careful because Zack might be coming back and just eing. Well, I see him now. Okay, well, I'm still gonna most likely miss some CS, but I see that he's not freezing, he's pushing the wave, 
And, well, I have plenty of gold to spend now, so I will spend it. More movement speed to keep being faster and more damage. Okay, I lose less here than if I based when I had the chance to. I believe. Yeah, just lose 3 melee. 4. And 3 melee and 1 caster of XP. Now I see that Brand is bought and I'm stronger in terms of items. So I can look to play aggressively here. Zack did a, a low in low mistake that a lot of low in low players do into Trindermere is that he bought Bramble first. Well, the thing is, Trindermere doesn't heal during the fights. I heal outside of the fights, so I don't care about Bramble, I just have to wait for the effect to fade. Okay, what happened here is still, even if I don't heal during the fights, I didn't want to ult instant, I wanted to maybe save my ult and I was spamming Q, but it was actually on cooldown. So, big mistake on my end, I gave him a shutdown, this is pretty tragic, pretty terrible. Um, I still think the idea was right to Q before I ult, so maybe I can save my ult and kill him. But the best thing would have obviously been to know that my ult is on cooldown and kill him. So now I'm gonna do the same. Uh, yes, there's CS that I wanna get, but I also don't want him to base. I'm gonna ping to my Nocturne that we can dive this. Because now he has no ult. The only thing is, I went aggressively on him because I knew that Brent was bot side. But Brent is not gonna stay bot side the whole game, you know? So there is a big chance that Brent is actually back to top side. Exactly. And now I can look for vision on him and I see him and then well, I kill him basically. Okay, there's grubs. But there's also a wave. If if like Zach ignored me and still went for the the grubs, I will I will like probably go there as well. And if not, I'm happy. Okay, I think this should be fine. Okay, this time I, I, I looked at my Q. <laughs> I was actually gonna do the same shit. Oh, bro, just... Okay, he's just sharing XP. No, 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 no. I mean, if he wants to troll me... It's gonna troll me, what can I say? Please don't hit that next wave. At least. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Now it's a cannon wave and it's closer to his turret than mine, so it's actually gonna push to me. Uh, maybe actually not if my minions are stronger, and they are. I left click on my minions, I see that they're buffed. Why are they buffed? Because our levels are higher as theirs. Yeah, I think that's the extra level on Silas. And that is that it? That's enough? I guess it is. Okay, now I have Kraken, so I can be pretty strong. Nolins. I think I just straight up win that. I'm gonna ping. I can go. Ult. I'm so stupid. So I stayed there, there because I was like, okay, well, Brand is coming. Might as well like finish the, the Zac off. 
but the turret has been buffed because it hits Nocturne. Yeah, it's it's my bad. Like we didn't have to go that fast and we didn't have to Nocturne ult. My idea was just like like Nocturne has his shield, so he can maybe like just straight up like one shot the sec and then we just have to kill his little monsters. Didn't go the way expected. Okay, mistakes have been made. We're still overall stronger. Now he's basing. I'm not sure about his TP. But I mean, both cases, I'm going to push fast because if he has it, well, it's going to force him into using TP. So this way he cannot take TP bot, for example. I'm looking at the turret to see if he TPs. And if he doesn't have it, well, I'll just get the turret. Silas has been doing a very, very good job. Can I actually just look to kill that guy? I think I can. This time I have everything. Well, cannot. Cannot, cannot. I guess this is enough armor. He has weird items, but I guess this is enough for me not to be able to like, straight up run at him. Well, I'm actually making this hard for my team. Harder than it should. Um, it's okay. If we're not going to win through uh, just like stomping Silent and being able to kill consistently on site, we can win through... Like basic ma macro and playing on the map, which is good. I thought we, we were gonna, we were gonna have games where I don't like just like straight up stomp my side lane later in terms of elo and MMR, but I guess I made a lot of stupid mistakes here, which is good for us, which is good for the content. Okay, do I win now? Or I'm gonna grieve that again. I guess I'm griffing it again. Okay. Me, but... I will let my kind of fed Silas be close to the action and overall my team play topside because the objective is topside and I will go side lane now. Now, if Zach is matching me on side lane, I'm not going to be able to kill him because I don't have a big enough lead and it's just like such a hard champion to just kill. Well, it's a different story for that guy. And if Zach doesn't match me, well, I will do my side laning as I'm supposed to. But if he does match me, I'm just going to bring him there and look to rotate and be first on the fights. Now, because we killed the Yone, we can play for T2 here. I'm doing two autos on turret, one auto on minions. So I put them in. Like I can, I can proc my kraken on melees, and then they die from one e. Yeah, I was checking for a red buff. I'm gonna put deep wards and buy my item. Shit, eight hundred. Shouldn't sell D blade that early, but I miscalculated here. Okay, well now we're going top because the next objective we're gonna play is gonna be Drake. And I think we really want the, these Drakes, not even to get them, but to deny them. Because I think that if Zach gets the mountain Drakes, we're really not gonna be happy about it. Okay, there is a chance that this time... 
I can fight him. I'm gonna do it in different instances so I get some cues. Yeah, I, I knew um, Nocturne was coming. Or could come at least because well he was top with the ult. And Nocturne is really good with side lane by the way. Like as Trindomir, you're always yeah, you're often really happy to have a Nocturne in your team because you can just just like TF or basically any global can help you win sides. Um Yeah, I was waiting for info. Because now I don't have ult, I don't have sums. Okay. There's gonna be Drake soon, so I'm just pacing for it. I think I will actually come. Um, actually, I think I will actually go there because it's too late for me to have Pryo on side lane. Oh, she, you should stay. You should stay. Stay. But, well, now she's late. Because Brand was still dead, I think we could have rushed it. Oh, I have anti healing now. And we still have knock ult. Knock doesn't seem to want to ult here. This is pretty bad. Well, I see Zach was away from the fight. But I guess Senna was late. We gave Brent the time to come. Brent came bot for a bit. But still, we're not looking to punish. Not good, not good. And also I'm building a bit of like different items at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, it's just one rake. Yeah, we didn't use Nox ult at all. Or Yo, Senna, 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 Senna. Okay. Can I kill Zek? Don't think I can. For now, Zek is not bot. So who are they sending for me? Cannot send Smolder. Yeah, that's why they cannot send Smolder. Okay. Well, Brent was bot. Yone was bot. And he used Flash. Smolder is dead. That should be Nash. Gonna have the fastest Nash though. Keep, 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 keep. I think some of my teammates stop hitting Nash. Ok, 
Okay. We need to do better. We need to do way, way better. Nocturne is not looking to ult anymore. Ah, uh, but if we don't have Nocturne ult... I need some more golds or mortal. I think if I have mortal and Bork, well, maybe then I can kill Zek. Maybe then I can kill Zek. So my idea right now was. That I could greed for that way even if I didn't have much vision, because even if I die, I would be there on time for Drake. Okay, we play this. It's a 5v4. Like, there is no way we don't get it, right? No way. I cannot ping anymore. How did that happen exa exactly? It's my birthday. Okay. Okay, okay. That's not great anymore. It's based now. Maybe I should actually work on Bork. It's actually, it's it's never bad to sit on zeal, like the extra move speed is always going to be useful, regardless of who you're facing as a champion. Okay, maybe not always, but very, very often going to be useful. Um, it's very good that went ulted just me, that's why I actually like moved aside after he ulted me to make sure like he doesn't bounce. Okay, there is no objective for quite a bit. Wait, I, I counted four on the map, so it might be only Brand on me. If it's only Brand on me, I can maybe look to dive him and... An ally has been slain. Ah, shit. I got so close actually from double killing them. But my team has a number advantage and I guess they can win from that. Oh, we get some shutdowns, we get some kills, nice. Um, yeah, I flashed because I know the only thing that can stop me here is Brand Q. 
I don't want to get hit by that. So I kind of flashed randomly when it seemed like he was going to kill. Don't W for this six. Nice. Smart. Okay. Now you W for this. Nice. Smart. Now you're careful, careful, careful. B for Nash. Uh, I mean, on one hand, we should be for Nash. On the other hand, like, we should have just not. No, 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 no. Oh. We should have just, like, not went for that inhib. Because, yeah, well, exactly for that reason. No, no, stay, stay, stay. Stay! to sustain here. I mean, we get two Nashes, which is something, you know. It's better than getting none. Oh, but Nocturne is not playing the game, man. He's playing Nocturne and he's playing the item that gives you cooldown on ult. But he's not using ult. Oh my god, it's my birthday. We have... Oh, we don't have 60 TP, so we're late for Drake. Gonna finish off PD now. Shit, he went for it. Okay. Maybe I can ignore the fight and she's to just end the game. I'm ending. Okay, well, it did not end, but I made them all back. Silas, 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 Silas! Why is the wing cut on crab? Okay, good thing we're pinging. Oh, here, here. Uh, Yes, keep fighting, keep fighting. Yes, good. But she has TP. <laughs> you had TP. And then. Well, at least. It doesn't end, but it's open nexus, you know. It's open nexus. Your team has destroyed a turret. And open button hip. And we have soul. Okay. Can we go for the back door? Let's see. No hurry. I have up until the inhib response.
to go for it. So I'm going to use one red trinket to see if you can access that bush, for example. I can. So I'm looking at these waves to know where their waves are. Oh, actually, the enemy just respawned. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, I didn't take an hub. The only thing is I don't see Brent, so I can I can probably 1v1 Zek. But I don't know if it's 1v1 or not. Okay. Now I took the, the vision, but I see no one on the map, and there is a big chance that... Well, they think that I'm still there. Yeah, I saw someone with a W, I think. Okay, well, because we saw Brent, Nocturne was able to ult there. Shut down. An enemy has been I should, have, I should have run to the to the fate. I really thought that I would be able to kill the Zack kind of easily. Maybe I can. But I need Borg for that. I need to be careful. Okay, so I saw where they had vision, right? They had vision in these bots. Uh, bot side of the of the jungle. So now I'm gonna check top side. This guy should never do grump. Okay. If there is a fight happening, boom. Boom. Now we're going. Let's go! Well, plenty of mistakes. I might still post it because you're gonna or you're supposed to be able to win a lot of games and end a lot of games through that through backdoors. Your Trindamir. That's that's one of your strengths, especially later on at 30. <laughs> that's my birthday scene. They, had, they have, like, at least some armor, stopwatches, GAs, shit like that. Like, look at this. Exec has Frozen Heart and Iceborne. They have Iceborne on Yoni. Um, they don't have anything defensive on Smolder, uh, but he could have. And at this point, what makes you strong is all your ability to play the map. So you saw I was waiting for something. Something happened. And I went for the Nexus Okay. Well, yeah, not my base game. I still post it. So if I did, well, thank you for watching it, guys. Uh, next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck and have fun game in, in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace. Much love. Bye-bye.